you up. Bring him over here. Let me do Hey, bro, come here. That's the problem right there, man. You know right, what And Israel shall be a proverb and a byword. Why would we be a proverb and a byword? Because the other nations laugh at us. They know that we're not supposed to be buying and selling. But they they brought they woke up and sent to their store, and every time you sit there and you give them their money, they laughing at you because you're stupid. You want to be ignorant. Keep on going, keep on going. And, and keep Israel, your place when you read it. Keep your place. And Israel should be a proverb and a byword among all people. We're going to be niggas and spick still. We're going to be at the bottom of society because we don't want to listen to the Lord, laws of God. We're going to walk around with our cleavage showing out here with pants uh, showing your curves. Keep going. And that this house, which is on, is high, everyone that passes by it shall be astonished. Every other nation, when we pass by, when they pass by us, they're going to laugh at us in our condition. They're going to laugh at us in our condition that we're poor and broke. And we're always begging and, and we can't get things for ourselves. We're to look for everybody else. Read that part again. And at this house, which is high, everyone that passeth by shall be astonished. Keep going. And shall hiss. And they shall say, why hath the Lord done thus unto this land and to this house? What the hell did these people do to be in this situation? How did, how did they how did they upset the Lord this much to where they're at the bottom of society and can't do nothing? We're at the bottom. We're, at the, we're on every street corner walking around on a Saturday doing absolutely nothing and swearing to God we got to, we're so busy that we're doing something. We're not doing nothing out here. Everybody swear to God they're busy and then they're going to run back home and do nothing. That's right. You ain't got nothing better to do on a Saturday. Keep going. And they shall answer because they forsook the Lord their God. See, the other nations know that. Read that part again. Pay attention. Read that part again. And they shall answer. And they shall answer because the other nations know this. Because they forsook the Lord their God. They know that if we don't keep the commandments, we're going to be at the bottom. They can stay over us and oppress us. Who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt and have taken hold upon other gods and worshipped them and served them. All right, and my brother right here. What's your name? Robert. Robert. Hey, I'm your honey. You read the Bible? A little bit. Let me ask you this. You go to church? No. Why not? I just don't. Hey, look. I'm going to say this, bro. You might be shocked. We glad you don't go to church. Right. Don't have, Clap it up for us. Clap it up for not going to church. The, the church is the worst place to be because they don't teach you the laws of God. They don't right. teach you the Bible. Like, for example, does God love everybody? I can't say that he do. Good. Good. Now, what do they teach in church? Don't they teach that God loves everybody, that Christ came to die for all the world and everybody in it? Yeah. Right. We can't find it in the Bible, bro. We've been reading this for years. It's not in there. Right. You'll never find that. And we're going to prove it. That's right. Who does God love? That's the question right there. That's a good one. Who does God love? God's love? Yeah. God love those who take care of themselves. Be more specific, bro. Who, who does he love? He yeah. loved the Asiatic black man. The Asiatic black man. Okay. I see where you're going. Look at this sound real quick. You talking about these guys right here? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yeah. These are the children of Israel that's all taught the Bible. That's who God loves. That's who God has always loved. Right. Get uh, Exodus 5 and 1 real quick. We're going to prove that. Yeah. Hey, brothers, make sure y'all don't buy and sell for the rest of the day, man, because y'all breaking the laws of God if you do. All right? right. Make sure y'all make sure y'all read that sign, I mean, the pamphlet. May God bless you, young brother. All right. I got to go. No, you, real quick, bro. You, listen, check this out real quick. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 5 and verse 1. We're going to prove what you said is right, that God doesn't love everybody. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go. He said the Lord God of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, he said, Let my people go. Okay? So that goes to prove that God is only dealing with the nation of Israel. He's not dealing with the so-called Chinese, the Japanese, the uh, Polynesians, the, the Arab, nobody else. He's only dealing with the children of Israel, which is you. All right, brother? Now, look, do me a favor. Stay stay around for one more time. Stay, for one more scripture. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 11. Bring it up. So, see, the reason why we're in this position right now, the reason why we live in the worst place, like, look at all this trash on the ground. Do you think Short Pump looks like this? No. What about Stony Creek? No. Stony, I'm sorry, Stony Point. No. River's big. It don't look like this, right? Mm -hmm. Well, why is it like this in our communities? Because that's why it's, 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 it's like that because... They don't give a damn about us. Exactly. That's on top right. of that, we don't give a damn about ourselves. That's the problem. There you go. If we give a damn about ourselves, to hell with everybody else. That's we don't need right. them. That's right. Read this real quick. Uh, start of verse 2. 
the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 2 and verse 3 but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ so it says the head of every man is Christ so Christ is our head the Israelite man's head and the head of the woman is the man so you would the men would be over the women so if you have a wife you're over her if you got daughters you're over them right now keep going and the head of Christ is God. So Christ has a head, which is God. They're not the same. Keep going. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So a law in this Bible is when the words of God are coming out, a man is to remove his hat while the words are coming out. Now that that's a that's a that's a good thing. Okay, if you if you take off your hat right now, you, you kept a law. You know, that shows that you're repenting. That shows that God, that you accept God, that you love Him, that you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, continue to do right. Will you, are you willing to take off your hat for two seconds before you go? Yeah, but I got to go, so. We're good. All praise. Let you go there. All praise for that. Unless you know that you love God. Now, look at that flyer and call that number, bro. We're gonna get you right over here in Richmond. All right. There's a lot of good information on there about keeping the laws of God. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank y'all, man. All right. And hey, my brother in the red. Let's get that brother over here. The brother in the red. Hey, come here real quick, bro. Go back to First Kings. Keep on going. Go to verse 9. The book of First Kings, chapter 9 and verse 9. And they shall answer, because, thou, because they forsook the Lord their God, and brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt, and have taken hold upon other gods. The other gods, for example, is these stores. When you, when you break the Lord's Sabbath, that's your God. You took, you took the, the God of Israel and you cast him aside to do what the other nations want to do. That's, right. that's what they do. They, they buy us on the Sabbath. They do that nonsense right now. That's right. But that's going to stop at a time. It's going to right. stop. The Lord's, it's going to come real soon. Keep that's going. Right. And have worshipped them and served them. Therefore hath the Lord brought upon them all this evil. That's why we're in this condition right now. All this evil is upon us because we refuse to hearken. We want to celebrate Thanksgiving. And then Christmas after that, and then New Year's, which cannot be found in Leviticus 23 or anywhere else in the Bible for that, for example. That's right. Like, I don't understand that. Like, people say they love God, but we bring out the, the high holy days in the Bible, and nobody understands what it is. They never heard of it, but we go to church every day, and we're not learning the Bible. And it's, it's, and it's, it's, it's baffling because if, if I want to go learn about math, I will go to a school that, you know, that's favorable to math. They're strong. But that's like I want to learn about math, but I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the goddamn uh, sports camp to go learn about math. That doesn't make sense. Bring it up. All right. So if you want to learn the Bible, you come to the prophets, the one that's out on the streets with the Bibles open, telling you, please ask any questions about the Bible. That's what we do. We're not afraid. We're not in the church hiding. We're not gonna keep talking to the point where you can't get a question in. We're here for you. We used to scream Black Power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth